Sir, the decision by the OES uh, that we can cover Malacanang, how does this affect the order earlier barring me from covering Malacanang I do not know about the order barring you. I have to clarify that the, um, the executive secretary just issued a verbal statement that pending appeal, you will be able to cover here in Malacanang. And having said that, the worst case uh, scenario, even if you're barred, is you can cover the press briefings because we're televised live. So I can cover the press briefings but not any events in Malacanang Palace. What's the basis for this order? As far as I know, and don't get this wrong again, you are still allowed until the appeal is resolved by the Court of Appeals. Uh, but earlier, if sir, it is sustained, then you will have to move to FOCAP, which is um, the uh, media group for foreign correspondence, because the decision of the SEC is that you are foreign controlled. But while the appeal is pending, you're welcome to cover Malacanang, unless, of course, there's disorderly behavior. So, sir, because I was just told earlier before entering NEB that I can only cover NEB events but not Malacanang events, meaning I can cover ah, the president's I speeches. See. I do not know about that, but uh, all I know is that when the executive secretary was asked, we will continue to allow you to cover um, in the Malacanang press corps pending your appeal. Does that mean that that order from the PSG no longer stands? I do not know because I'm telling you that's what the executive secretary said yesterday. But so just inform them that you have a pending appeal and you're not yet a member of FOCAP. Will the OES inform the PSG of this? I do not know. Maybe you should make representations for the OES to inform the PSG. But it's an OES order that I can cover, so wouldn't no, they want to so. enforce that decision? I do not think so. The, the executive secretary yesterday clarified that pending appeal, you can cover. May we just know more about this order from the, to the PSG? Who I issued suggest, it? I suggest uh, you ask for yourself because I we was, did, sir. I they went did not downstairs want to, to respond. pick you up in case there's a misunderstanding that I will not allow you to cover my press briefing. I went downstairs to pick you up to assure you that for now you can cover my press briefing. But that's the extent of what I can do as spokesperson. At least I can influence who will cover my press briefings, and you're still welcome to cover my press briefing. Sir, will, can you find out, sir, who ordered the, the I do PSG? Not know. I think that's too asking too much already. No? I was willing to pick you up downstairs to bring you here in case you were not allowed. I will probably pick you up from the gate in time for press coverage, I mean press briefings if you are barred, but that's the full extent of what I can do because I only am able to control <clears throat> this press briefing. What do you think this PSG order says about Malacanang's commitment to press freedom? There's no denial of press freedom. We're telling I'm just being barred from covering Malacanang events. No, you're not being barred. Because, On no basis. Uh, you're, you're number one, you, you're here asking questions. But I cannot enter Malacanang to cover the president's events later. Well, uh, I do not know about that. that. That's absolute presidential security guard or security group discretion. But I do not know Am I that a security there is threat? order. Am I a security threat? I do not know. What I'm, ask, what I'm telling you is I do not know about the orders that PSG may have given because I'm not connected with PSG. All I am confirming is you're welcome to cover my press briefings. Would it be the policy of Malacanang to bar reporters who publish unsavory reports from no, Malacanang? No, I don't think uh, the issue is unsavory reporting. The issue is fake news and pending legislation on who will be penalized for fake news. Please understand that you're de dealing with institutions that want also to promote the truth. One last question, Pia. Sir, the Senate hearing just confirmed all of our documents, the authenticity of our documents, and yet Malacanang calls it fake news. Uh, and Bongo himself uh, said in his opening statement that his office endorsed the complaint to DND, and yet you call it fake news. May we know if it's the policy of this administration to call every single report it finds negative, despite vetted documents, as fake news? Well, I, we still maintain it's fake news because witnesses already clarified under oath that Bongo did not intervene at any time, and that was your conclusion in this press briefing. But, sir, they also confirmed that the, the, the authenticity of documents, which showed his involvement. What the? There is no involvement there. There is, okay, sir, yeah. his, office, his, no, 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 office, it's okay. his office I'm not here to implicated. argue, but I'm here to give you the palace position. You can argue all you want, but you, what the documents prove that there was a complaint 
it was referred for um, attention by the PMS, and that's the full extent of what you claim to be um, intervention. Your question to me was, what do you do about the policy of uh, a secretary intervening in favor of a contract? Yes, that sir, was it. it was Your a... intervention contemplates favoring one company over another. But it was very clear in the palace hearing that there was a complaint. It was referred to the line agency because that is what we do. That's not intervention to favor a company. So, sir, back to my question. Will it be Your question is, is you make conclusions without facts. I'm no. sorry. <sighs> No, sir. You're like, editor, you are resorting to editorializing stories when in the first place you should be sticking it out to facts. What did Fork, former Fork Mercado said? At no point did the uh, SAPGO intervene in the contract. And yet, you're still insisting that there was intervention on the basis of documents. The document did not emanate from Bongo. Even the note says it did not emanate from Bongo. But sir, the documents confirm that his office arranged the meeting. The, off, the document confirmed that they acted upon a complaint. Do you want, Under his do you want wait, up, wait a minute, do you really want government to ignore official uh, communication sent to it? Yes or no? My time to ask the question. Do you want, did you want government to ignore that document? We're only trying to report no, 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 the no, fact of it. the intervention. Yeah, but that's the thing is, you're already editorializing. You're already making a judgment that we were, or at least that SAPGO was intervening on behalf of a company. It was clear from the testimony. There was this communication which had to be referred, and you already called that intervention. You know, your story failed when the most interested party in this controversy, former Foyk Mercado, belied your claim of intervention. That's why Malacanang said, fake news. And we leave it to the people to judge who was telling the truth. Next Let's question. Leave that point already Rose Novenari of Hatao. And we would still have the same conclusion fake news from Rappler.